To add to the numerous benefits offered to farmers in the area, the collaborative initiative seeks to empower local farmers with cutting-edge farming methods and nutritional knowledge to elevate their livelihoods and contribute to the overall development of the region. Katinga project ten together ko kuyamba abantu no kupasomesa engeri kije bayinzo okuzza obujimu mutakalya nga bakozesa ebintu ebibetolode bakozesa ebintu nga obusa we koko obusa wete atene ebintu ebirala ebibetolode Hank Van Doon, the president IFDC, says the initiative comes in response to the challenges faced by farmers in highland areas, including unpredictable weather patterns, soil degradation, and limited access to modern farming techniques. All these challenges are expected to be mitigated. Our bright project is to restore uh, hilly slopes like you see behind me, to restore the erosion and to restore the topsoil. Because what is happening in most of these hilly areas is that we lose a lot of topsoil and it creates soil degradation, but it also creates reduction of productivity. And that's why I'm very pleased to see here the community who take it in, who take the, the solution in their own hands. <laughs> According to Richard Rauhinga, the district chairperson, equipping farmers with the latest farming methods and nutritional education will enhance productivity, improve food security, and ultimately uplift the standard of living for communities. How the production improve these areas? And like you rightly say, one is for having food security, two is for economic reasons to have the surplus food taken to the markets and therefore increase on the household income. The collaboration will also incorporate a focus on nutrition education aiming to address malnutrition issues prevalent in the region. People work with the teams to see how best to move on. One of our key slogans as a government of NRL is to introduce the, to, to, to improve the production and productivity of our people. Hank Van Duin, the president of International Fertilizer Development Center, says local residents will receive guidance on cultivating and consuming a diverse range of nutrient-rich crops, promoting healthier dietary practices within the community. Not only from a gender balance violence perspective, but also from an individual personal development perspective of women. And in the end, if we work together, we are able, and we see already in one year, one and a half year time, here in this area, that there is already success and achievements which create direct impacts to reduce the runoff of rain, to reduce the loss of topsoil, and to increase productivity. Some of these children not get the necessary nutrients to build their bodies and most importantly their brain. And this leads to standard growth. So this intervention, upstream and downstream, are most likely to help us address that issue of stunting among our children, especially from zero to one year and then five years, the number us have a healthy population but also a productive population. Duane emphasized the organization's commitment to fostering sustainable agriculture and empowering local farmers with the knowledge and tools needed to overcome challenges unique to highland regions. What's happening here, already farmers started to create water conservation measures, reducing runoff of uh, rain, which uh, runs off also a lot of uh, topsoil, which is a lot of nutrients. So that means that if you work on your own land to reduce runoff and you start uphill all the way down to downhill, 